Hello everyone, I would like to show you today how to create multi-screen application. So basically what we have right now, we have activity one. This is activity one and has a button next. Uh, when we press button next, we get a second screen. This is activity two and we have a message in this activity. Also we can delete the current activity two and go to the previous activity one again. So basically a very simple program to um, to complete. Alright, so I will minimize this application. Um, I'm sorry, minimize this um, screen and uh, I'm gonna show you about application right now. So activity one corresponds to the layout main XML which is has this button as I discussed and activity two um, has its own code and the uh, corresponding layout main to XML which has a different button slightly with different text. So for activity one we need to uh, create a button click set click listener to the button to transfer from one screen to another. So basically this is the code that you require it, um, to uh, insert in your activity one in on create method. So what we do here, we um, basically create a button based on the uh, resource find you by the button one. Then we set up a listener for the button, set on click listener. And in the method on click, we do two main things. We create intent object based on intent class. Intent class, this is should be uh, the class that should be added to the application when you create switch. So what is required? It's required to get the context of the current activity and switch to the second activity. And if you notice the second activity has extension class. So the class 2 Java but in the method in the constructor in that is an extension class. And finally you need to, need to do only one thing to start activity for result. So once you do it then the second screen will be activated and the second screen will be displayed what is um, supposed to be. Uh, but we want a trick, we want the second screen to be closed, so, and the control will be passed to the activity one. By the way, when we pass um, control from activity one, the activity one, activity one is not closed, but it's unpaused and not visible. So to make it resumed again and visible, we have to um, uh, finish the second activity and pass control to the first one. So what we're doing in this case, we create similar click listener for this activity. So we create intent and we set result OK. It means the current screen will be closed with a positive answer and uh, then we will finish the current screen. So if you set the result OK, the second activity you can process uh, normally as it was before. Alright, so let's uh, check again our application. Um, yeah, next week, next uh, next screen and the first screen will be uh, interchanging permanently using this button. Thank you very much for your time.